Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today we're going to show about Jesus' ark and how the beast out of the sea is trying to stop Jesus. See, the beast out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns, all of these different kings and such that have given their power to the beast with the woman on the beast and the ten kings. These shall make war with the Lamb. These signs are all around us. On our channel we show how all the world is as a matrix, going right by God's plan that everything comes back to Jesus Christ and God. Even all of the different religions represent these ten spirits, these ten kings, trying to get their kingdoms, as they say. You know, just like with Islam or any of the other such religions. Your Mary worship, Mary worship, it's all the same thing. It even comes back into the Bible with the ten brothers that betrayed Joseph. The story of Jesus being betrayed is all through the Bible. The same as with Joseph. Joseph betrayed by his own family. The, the Bible is a family book. The first thing to realize is that Satan is also one of these uncles and brothers and cousins of Jesus. It, it's all part of that. But you can see here, the ten brothers. Joseph was the eleventh and the most loved of Jacob. Ten brothers betray him and cast him into a pit, exactly as with Jesus dying on the cross. They all betray him. They all want a kingdom themselves. It's, it's just the same thing as the fallen angels and such. But just note that that's all through there. It's even shown in your movies many times. Luke Skywalker, The New Hope, by Mark Hamill. That represents Jesus taking out all of the fallen angels. In the newest one, they try to get rid of the Jesus character and have Kylo Ren take over, the Antichrist. See him right there? Well, it, even in here, they're all related and then working, having been apprentices and part of each other in the past. But we're going to show this today, how they're all after what is known as Jesus' Ark and the Ark of His Testament. And that's what they're all after. Well, we show how these things are mapped out all around the world. Why? Because nothing's really going random. The archangels are as architects. Everything's being controlled and it's going by a plan. See the mill race? Just as Jesus talked of the race, and there's only one winner, Him, but we all run. You can actually see this dragon mapped out. See the dragon? Part of the beast out of the sea. Right over here you can even see that it says Prince of Peace. See? Prince of Peace? That represents Jesus. The name Mark comes around a lot for Jesus because it represents the Ark. Mark's Ark. Can you see that right there? Mark's Ark. There it is right there. Can you read this right here? Heaven's Gate. That represents Jesus' Ark. And the dragon trying to stop it. To eat him as soon as it's born. The beast out of the sea. The dragon just as we've been showing. Well, as we showed, it also has the what's known as the feet of a bear. Can you see the bear mapped out? That's all those fallen angels and everything, guys. There it is. It even has a part where it says bridal down here for when Jesus' wedding happens. You can see how when this ark launches, it's going to destroy all of the beast that's doing this now. 
Well, this is also mapped out in England, because England and the princes also represent them trying to stop Jesus. May God have mercy on us all. So let's head over towards Britain and show these same things and actually show this link to Kai and to Kylo Ren, whatever this spirit is. So here is Buckingham Palace. You can just make out Prince William in there, representing one of those ten horns. You see how the dragon right here has one of the horns? He's one of the ten horns. And it goes all the way up to past the wine glass that the woman on the beast is drinking from with them. There is the bear. And then it goes all the way up to here. See how this elephant? This represents the archangels and the fallen archangels controlling people. And right in here, you can see the beast. Kai. See K-Y-O-T-O? -O? Kai. See him sitting right in there? Kai. They want to replace Jesus and they want to use these princes. This is also why they did the voodoo of Meghan Markle. It represents trying to get rid of Mark again and the Ark. Prince Harry. The Red Dragon. Trying to get Mark trying to get the Ark. See how they work their voodoo? They're all after this name as we've shown. That's, these are witches and voodoo. That's what they do. You can see it right there. That's the only reason this is going on. It's the same reason that they had Diana and then killed her. That's the reason that they killed off Princess Diana. It's all evil. This even comes back to why President Trump is saying, make America great again. Great Britain. So there's Kai right there. There it all is. These things are involved with children's sacrifice. That's what it's talked of even in the Star Wars saga that this guy has gone to the dark side. It comes down to this child sacrifice they do to do for Satan. See the children? This is happening all around us. Up to 800,000 children a year are missing. That's impossible on our planet with cell phone technology and with satellites going on. According to the National Center for Missing and exploited children, roughly 800,000 children are reported missing each year. That's impossible unless all governments are letting this happen. All governments, even our own USA at Area 51, we've shown this. Child sacrifice into ball. It's also talked of even in this series that the Darth Vader type guy has begun to kill children and to consume their essence. That's what it comes down to. That's what these things are doing. In Mexico, there's a big problem going on with this, and there's been some 174 skulls were found inside of a pit, representing the beast from the pit. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. In Joseph's story, all of the brothers blamed it on a beast from the pit. All of the brothers went against him and they all allied themselves with a beast from the pit. And they said that Joseph was eaten by the beast from the pit and they lied to the father. They lied to God. That's what this is. That's what's going on in the Bible. Don't forget all the angels and the fallen angels were all brothers and sisters. It's a family fight. Even Satan is related. Well, this Mexico thing is going on in a place called Veracruz. The big V again. This is Veracruz. And you can see, see the Veracruz? You can see the bear and the alligator mapped out again. Where they're feeding on the children. They are getting power from this. From the beast. 
So don't think that these things in any way are not pure evil. See how they're going after an American named Mark? Same thing here after Jesus because it represents the Ark. The Ark of Jesus' Testament and the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's all about the Ark. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There's another area over here where it shows them torturing and killing the children and trying to go after Mark again. And it shows them as the beast, one of the mountains on the beast. See how they're going after Marcos? And there is Kai again. He represents one of the mountains that the woman sits upon. See Kali and Kai, known as the Dutchman. His ark and the fallen angels and the ark, even the ark that Michael the archangel in, is corrupted. In the Bible it must be destroyed. And then only Jesus' ark will be the way. Jesus will have the Millennium Falcon and the only way for the souls to get across. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. And may God have mercy on us all. It comes down to them killing children. It is even shown in the Star Wars saga about them sacrificing younglings and that they've all been caught. They're caught. Thank you very much, everybody. There's the woman riding the beast, drinking the wine, causing pain and suffering across the world. God have mercy on us all. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus is first and last. That represents him taking out the beast. Hallelujah. Father's given me. Father's given him another gift. Levi? Judo, what are you doing? You're scaring me. Stop Father, it! We There's no need to be afraid. We just want to try on your new club. Come here! No! Judo! Anyone want to try his new coat? <laughs> I have recalibrated the code warning all surviving Jedi to stay away. For the clones? To discover the recalibration, a long time it will take. Wait, Master. There is something I must know. If into the security recordings you go, only pain will you find. I must know the truth, Master. It can't be. It can't be. anymore destroy the Sith we must consumed by Darth Vader I do not know where the Emperor has sent him I don't know where to look use your feelings Obi-Wan and find him you will When was the last time you saw him? Yesterday. Do you know where he is now? No. Padme, I need your help. He is in grave danger. From the Sith? 
from himself. Padme, Anakin has turned to the dark side. You're wrong. How could you even say that? I have seen a, a security hologram of him killing younglings. Not Anakin. He couldn't. He was deceived by a lie. We all were. It appears that the Chancellor is behind everything, including the war. Palpatine is the Sith Lord we've been looking for. After the death of Count Dooku, Anakin became his new apprentice. That name no longer has any meaning for me. It is the name of your true self you've only forgotten. I know there is good in you. The Emperor hasn't driven it from you fully. That was why you couldn't destroy me. That's why you won't bring me to your Emperor now. I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. Your skills are complete. Indeed, you are powerful, as the Emperor has foreseen. Come with me. Obi-Wan once thought as you do. You don't know the power of the dark side. I must obey my master. I will not turn. <laughs>